Hey everybody, Radaman here, thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So, normally I show you every second of gameplay, uh, but there is a tiny little exception. So, I left off last episode telling you all that I wanted a companion. And, uh, conveniently, I searched every single hero, so if you hit N to go to the encyclopedia, and then you search each, well, actually you'd have to go to the subset of Wanderers. I searched every single hero in this list, and the best possible hero was right here in Varvanovapol. Now the thing is, the game just updated to 1.5.7, and most of the character renaming mods to allow you to rename characters uh, hasn't been updated yet. So what I had to do was recruit the person from Varvanovapol, rename them, and then update to 1.5.7. Uh, so that's what I did. All I really did off camera was go into the tavern in Varvanovapol and hire someone. I've like probably not even moved but a foot, but I just wanted to let you know. So now we have Yanshui. Uh, Yanshui was the best possible recruit I could find, and they were right under my nose, which was super awesome. So if we go into Yanshui's skills here, you'll see why I recruited Yanshui. Uh, Yanshui has some stewardship, 82 stewardship and a little bit of trade. So she would make for a good caravan trader, but we're gonna make her into, um, you know, a captain or whatever. Uh, so I'm also on the 1.5.7 branch, uh, which means that some skills have been reworked. I wouldn't say there was a major amount of, um, of patch notes. A lot of it was just a little rebalancing here or there. Uh, but yes, so there we have it. We have our brand new companion. I haven't even given Yan Shui armor or anything like that because I didn't want to do anything off camera. So we are, of course, going to need to equip Yanshui with gear. Uh, I have my bodkin arrows, so this is her bodkin arrows, I guess. So she came with a level six one-hander. That's uh, that's pretty good. She's obviously going to need an armor, horse, etc. You name it. Uh, horses are easy. There is a desert horse. She doesn't have the skill to ride the Azeraz yet. Yet, but that will change. Uh, I was keeping a sword for her, but it seems like the sword she came with is better. So let's go back into Varva Novapol and outfit her. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to find uh, the sort of outfit that i am been giving my companions. Because um, I'll give her like really good horse armor. Uh, because... That is uh, Batanian styled, or Valandian styled rather, and I am nowhere near Valandia, so therein lies the problem. Uh, but I was hoping to be able to find at least a bow for her. Now you have to also have to keep in mind that not all bows can be used as horseback. So this long bow, for instance, cannot, but the simple short bow, yeah, no problem. And then I'm going to give her just a... I don't think Highland Round Shields are here. Let me sort by alphabetical. No. I'll just do a Norse round shield for now. That is a huge shield. Oh my. Alright. That is all that I have to do here. And we're going to have to get her more equipment soon. Or actually, let me check for helmets. Hmm. There's northern style helmets, veiled helmets. Ah, uh, you know, I might hold out. Okay, I'll hold out. Now, when talking about uh, the recruitable clans, this is the full list here. Uh, unfortunately, there really isn't anyone else so we do have a few people that are rolled into this army here that I'm not going to be able to talk to because they're an army. Um, and I've also hotkeyed or indicated everybody else. So we do have someone in Makeb. 
And I do hope that this army disbands, because if it did, uh, well, I would be in luck. So this army that is right here, I do believe that... Uh, who's in here? Oros. Oros is, you know, wrapped up in the prison, and Monchug is the, you know, I think the jailer. And that's something we learned uh, last episode. So one of the things I might need to do is just to wait a while until I see Oros escaping from prison or talk to uh, talk to the owner of Ravrenovapol, which is uh, Manchug. And Manchug, last I checked, was in Makeb. No, he's at Tepes Castle now. Okay. Just north of Makeb. So we're going to see about freeing Oros, uh, because I don't have a lot of other people to recruit. I'm definitely, definitely at the bottom of my barrel. Now, you'll also see that some of these uh, Valandians look a bit different. They're, uh, there's a lot more blue as a result of uh, the latest patch. Oh, I am over capacity. Yeah, that works for me. I like that. So, Yanshui will be a captain. She, I will make her one of my companion party leaders. Um, but what I'm going to do first is try to recruit some vassals and then get back into Valandian territory to give her Valandian troops. I It's warning me that I'm overcapacitated, so I'm going to take... A few, hmm, let's see, I'm just trying to add more Valandians to my, my number here. Okay, that should be fine. All right, clearly I don't even have room to recruit my own prisoners anymore. So these Sturgeons and Imperials, I'm just throwing them out. They're tier zero basically, so. So I have two reasons to go over to Makeb. Uh, the second reason, first reason is to free Oros from Manchug. The second reason is Aranox is also in Makeb, and, or near Makeb. One's at Tepes Castle, one's at Makeb, but they're basically the same spot. And uh, that would help me. Oh, well, okay, that's awkward. So not only are we at war with um, Azurai, but now Valandia just turned on us. Uh. Yeah, I guess I'll turn around now. Now, I wasn't really worried about the war in Azurai. So if we take a look at the kingdom screen for diplomacy, Azurai is a fifth of my size. Valandia is half. Uh, Valandia obviously, pay, uh, you know, requires a little bit more attention than Valandia, or uh, than Azurai. Sorry, that was probably very confusing. TLDR, um... I felt like I could ignore Azurai because they are not much of a threat, but uh, Valandia is a little bit different. Plus, I want to capture Valandian territory, so this could be a one-two punch. Now, the other thing is, if I am taking the uh, the territory of Valandian leaders, uh, I might be able to. Might is the operative word. I might be able to recruit them afterwards. There is a lot of wars being declared right now. That's okay. I mean, I'm I'm eager. I'm battle ready. Now, another thing that I could do is as I have Valandian prisoners to recruit, I could shunt a whole lot of my prisoners off to my new companion, Yanshui, and have Yanshui lead an army. And I do want to do that as soon as I am capable. Uh, but I do see that uh, a lot of my guys are being taken prisoner. We need to... Okay, armies led by tier 5 plus nobles require less influence. The influence of the ruling clan reduced. For me to vote against this would be 1900. I'll vote for it. But it's annoying because my... My influence goes down per day. But not significantly enough that it would hurt me. But I'm not keen on my vassals passing laws. Obviously, one that reduces my influence makes it even harder for me to um, prevent future laws from being passed. 
I don't know. I, I don't like it. I don't like how it feels. At all. Uh, so a ton of people just escaped from captivity. Why? That was a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> yes. More prisoners. All right, let's see. I haven't really been checking who's been running around me. And there's always the possibility of just running into someone that I could recruit. Although not particularly likely. Uh, so the first thing I want to do here is actually disband my army. And then undisband the army for free cohesion points. Um, and then rally in whoever's nearby. One, two... One, two, three, four. And uh, start to build up some steam. Now, are we in Valandian territory yet? You are Sturgeon, so I would say no. Not likely we seem to still be in Sturgia. So, Nevin, Nevansk Castle might be natively... It's owned by Valandia, but it's natively Sturgeon. Uh, 300 defenders... Before I start to take on Valandian towns and the like, uh, it might also... Okay, so Jacqueline is being besieged. It might be in my best interest to rally to defend first. Also, keep in mind that I want to personally own Valandian towns. It's going to be very, very important. No. Are you kidding me, you warmongering... Dummies? What, you want to be at war with everybody? Oh my god, my vassals. Really, truly, truly. Levels of infuriating that I cannot even describe. <sighs> Alright, well, I was going to do some trading in Batanian towns, but uh, clearly I cannot. Because my warmongering vassals... I think my guess, if I was to take a guess, is the fact that... Um, I'm the big dog now. As odd as that sounds for me to say. I'm the big dog now, and as big dog... Oh, great. They've already taken Joe Myers. As big dog, uh, everybody wants a piece. Um, and all of my... My vassals feel like, because we're so powerful, we could just take whatever we want. Which, I'm not going to necessarily say is incorrect. But only when we do it once at a time. When my dummy vassals decide to go to war with the whole globe all at once, splitting our attention, um, that's very much like Napoleon trying to march. Oh, this is one I wanted to recruit. Arianox, or whatever you want to call him. I don't know how to pronounce that. All right, so Western Empire took Jalmaris from Batania, which took it from me. My empire is getting picked apart piece by piece because my stupid vassals are, well, stupid. Um, unfortunately for me, I've also... Okay, I don't really trust trust it, uh, and Damien not to... Uh, to get themselves into trouble. I wanted to talk to him before he rolled into an army, but I think he's going to roll into an army first. It also might be possible to just talk to him to, like, get peace. Uh, it seems like Damon and Trustin are not starving, which is good. Alright, Monchug and the Crusades just declared war on the north. Empire... ton of people just got captured. If I can play my cards right... Oh no, he's gonna march straight into me. Cause, oh, there we are. Oh, wow, you attacked me? Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Uh, 8% chance. Yeah, ineffective. This guy has a negative 100 to me. So, I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, hey, we're, there we go. I guess I'm just so charming. Okay, it's a lot of money, but I accept your offer. Um, now, here's the thing. I want Valandian land, and I know I'm at, uh, at war with a bunch of people. Uh, but this is a great opportunity for me to offload um, all but one of my cities so that I can actually own some Valandian land. So let's take a look here. What prosperity wise, uh, Orticia is the best. So Zianica goes to the new guy. And then Legata goes to the new guy. So now I have the least amount of fiefs in my entire uh, territory. Let's add the new guy in. Boom. Help his party. Man, he's going to like me. Oh, also, interestingly enough, Patir, another person I wanted to recruit, I'm currently in combat with. So, interesting how this is Everyone! working out. I'm not even going to use tactics here. Um, we outnumber them. Well, no. I'm worried about my companions dying, so. I just don't trust. I just don't trust the AI to not get themselves killed. With the uh, number of troops that I have, controlling them really difficult. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, my Valandian sharpshooters are, well, sharpshooting. I've got... My infantry, who Ow. Quit shooting me. Ow. Jesus. So many shots. Right, that's enough out of you guys. My ridiculous uh, amount of crossbowmen make it really challenging. You know, the whole the whole map is being filled with crossbow bolts. And Yan Shui, my new companion's already knocked unconscious. I just saw that in the feed. Not dead. But you don't get to build up a whole lot of um, skill points when you're unconscious. All right, there goes the Valandian Vanguard. I'm gonna have my crossbowmen sit safely on the other side of the bank where they can't be charged very easily. Oh, jeez, that hurt. You. Of course, we're also against Valanians, so there's a possibility of taking significant prisoners here. That crossbow was aiming right at me. And significant prisoners would mean uh, being able to field an army for Yanshui relatively easily, which would be great. Not everyone's going to be... Uh... V 
triple ending, of course. Only I have the, like, monoculture army. Well, what's going on over here? There, you're welcome. Now, the kill feed is not... I could have played this tactically. But I'm okay with some losses. Just to speed things up sometimes. It's necessary. Uh-uh. Don't do it. <laughs> Got him anyway. I can hear... Oops. I can hear them saying run, so... That means morale's broken and... Soon I will have a bunch of prisoners. Who are we even fighting over here? This guy? Oh, I just shot my own vanguard. There we go. I don't see anyone. Okay, there we go. No one significant died, which is good. We did capture a ton of prisoners. And, you know, Patir, uh, you fought well, you're free to go. He's someone I want to recruit. Varmond, is there a reason for me... Yeah, you're free to go, too. Baron Servic, you're also free to go. So if you're wondering why I'm letting them go... Oh, boy, so many... Prisoners, oh boy, this is just tasty. If you're wondering why I'm letting them go, I would very much like to recruit them, and I'm not going to have the chance to recruit them if I immediately piss them off by keeping them captive. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm adding way more than I have troop capacity for because this is an opportunity for me to have another army. Uh, so done. Oh, some decent stuff here. Nothing I don't think I'm going to keep, but, uh... But hey. Alright, so immediately, let's go into the party screen. And... Create a new party. Yanshui? Yanshui is a little unconscious right now, but uh, she's going to initially take all of my non-Volandians, and then I'll make sure that she has enough troops that I can conscript her... Um, all right, she can have all of my recruits. So generous of me, right? Let's give her all of my tier twos. That lowers my troop max appropriately. And then she's almost at max. So great. She's, uh, yeah, she's, you know, 31 shy of max or something like that. Um, then, next up, we roll her in. And Milo's too, why not? And then, if I go to the party screen, uh, how many prisoners am I over? I am over a significant amount of prisoners. So, I want to keep a high-tier prisoners and, um, and Valandian prisoners preferentially. Uh, so let me go through this. Um, and sort through, man, most of these guys are actually, like, ridiculously high tier. Like, look, look at these sharpshooters, 65, tier 5, I mean, uh, boy, this is, I captured some super elites, is all I can say. Uh, high women, oh man, uh. I don't really know what to do here, because I guess I'm just going to get rid of all the ones I can't really recruit. Okay, that's too many. Uh, let's take back a bunch of the Volgears. I think I have a lot of crossbowmen compared to... Okay, perfect. <laughs> Letting 65 sharpshooters go hurts me, but... You know, it's just is what it is sometimes, right? 
Hey, Thomond. So if you're wondering what these guys are, these are the Charis Rebels that their rebellion epic failed, like, in a big way. And uh, I just need to sweep them off the map. Okay, so taking a look at the gear. Charis has not a ton of money. So I have to be careful about what I sell to them because they might run out. Yeah, they only have uh, 500 left. So Yanshui. Oh, you know what? I can't really equip Yanshui at the moment because she's not really in my party. I should have thought of that. That's okay. Um... I can always buy the stuff, temporarily disband her army, and gear her up. But I don't really see the uniform type stuff. I see the cavalier, male cavalier boots, which we've been using as uniform or whatever. Uh, but I don't see the other gear. So, what what about a uh, what about the shield, the Highland shield? I think the Highland shield is uh, Batanian styled, so I would maybe find it in Batania. Highland round shield, yeah, I think they, I think those are Batanian style. I might even want to switch over to something that is more uh, better suited for cavalry, like a, a knight's kite shield or something like that. But it's hard to source these things. So, all right, now the prisoners to be ransomed. As far as I know, you can't really recruit beyond tier four. You know, I'm going to keep some sergeants just to see if that's still true. Because if there's a possibility of me being able to recruit tier fives, I'll keep some of the vanguards. I'll, ke I'll keep some of these prisoners, but... Uh, some of the lower level ones, because I just have so many prisoners, I can, I can release. There we go. Now, the other question is, uh, Servic here has two castles, but Patir... Okay. Patir here, I did release, um, in the battle. I don't exactly know where he is right now, but I, it's someone I do want to try to recruit. So let's take a look at the overall map. Um... I'm at war with uh, Batania, and I've sort of lost Jomaris, which is annoying. Uh, I've given away everything but Artricia, I believe, if I go to my clan, uh, which would be L. Yeah, Artricia is the only one I currently own. So, my best bet is to start attacking Volandian cities? Towns? I, I don't, yeah, I guess technically towns. And claim them for myself. So we did just lose uh, Jacqueline. But Jacqueline and Galland would be great towns for me to own. Uh, abso absolutely. Oh, yeah, here we go. Valanian Vanguard, Tier 5, just recruited. So um, I did read in the patch notes in 1.5.6, which was the last patch notes, and now we're in 7, that uh, it is possible to recruit higher than Tier 4. Previously, it wasn't. Previously, Tier 4 was the limit, but now you can recruit higher, it's just much, much harder. And uh, I just got a Tier 5 unit, so those Tier 5 units are, are worth keeping uh, in some instances. So I'm just here looking for Yanshui stuff. Um, I will buy a good helmet. Now for her to level up, she's going to need to have good armor, right? Because if she's getting knocked out in every fight, well, she'll never level up at that rate, so. I know my money's a little low, but I'm not all that worried about money. I might want to pay for peace, though. So let's go over to Jacqueline and hope that uh, Batania and Azurai don't make inroads elsewhere. Because I am spread very thin. 
I have 49 days of food. I've not really been using my um, my influence for anything but cohesion. So I do have a ton of that built up. So we did just lose Jacqueline here. Another thing that I'm going to want to do is to not smash up. Oh, where's all my fire um, siege equipment? They must have changed that in this patch too. I read through the patch notes and I didn't really see anything about that though. Uh, let me check my skills. Maybe it's buried or something. Oh yeah, my engineering... Um, okay, that would explain it. Uh, Non-range siege engine... Or range siege engine... Okay, definitely want range siege engine build speed increased because they get damaged. Um, engineer. Uh, range siege engines have 10% more hit points. Or Rage Seas engines are 25% less likely to be hit while bombarding settlements. Um, less likely to be... Really? It's called Prison Architect? Oh, if I'm a governor, prisoners escape chance from dungeons are also decreased. Which is cool. Um, carpenters. Engineer and governor. Uh, Ram and siege towers have more hit points. And 25% build speed for town projects. Or, range troops have 50% am more ammunition with besieging. 50% increased build speed for castle projects. Uh, military planner. Uh, wall breaker, which is damage to walls increased 25%. Your troops deal 10% more to shields. Or, dreadful seizure, uh, increased chance that siege engines... To siege engines... Um, yeah, let's do increased hit chance. So I'm just going the bottom row here. This should help out actually a lot because um, we I do a lot of sieges. So for me to be an aggressive sieger is kind of awesome. And I'm glad I, I recognized that I had hit points like that or uh, skill points like that to, to use. So I'm still going to move them to reserve here. Oh, it actually doesn't look like... Oh, that's a big change. It doesn't... I could be wrong, but it didn't look like my um, my trebuchet actually got hit when I moved it to reserve. Which previously it would have. Uh, there was a bunch of uh, Valandians that seemed to be moving to me. Okay, so two of, two of them got hits in. Alright, so there's an armor, army forming to mess with me. It looks like they're uh, growing so... I too shall grow. They're not as big as I am, though. Alright, let's field these trebs. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Alright, they're attacking me. I am sort of just curious about the cost per piece. I could afford it. Okay. I, I wasn't... I didn't want to. I was just, uh, out of pure curiosity, interested as to what piece would cost. Food man, everyone! Take it! Yeah! Marches! Okay. So this will be a heck of a fight. Um, is this out of bounds? Because I would love to be up here. Because if it's in bounds, that gives my crossbowmen, like, pure domination. Oh, well, there's a bunch of trees. Fooey. Undoubtedly, they're going to have their cavalry come off this mountain. It might be best, although boring, it might be best to just hold in an open field here. told them to make a wedge, but I don't really see them forming into a wedge here. Oh my god, get out of my way. Move it. I feel like formations are broken in this uh, current patch, by the by. 
Like, truly, I think they are. Because none of the formations I'm telling any of my guys to get into seem to be doing anything. Which is a bit of a problem. Ouch. Just got lanced. Should be more careful. But I did just knock out one of their vassals. Oh no, they got into formation. It's just the, the like, formation shadow. Basically the, the indicator that they're in a certain formation is, like, messed up. So it's gonna be hard to plan it. There goes Varton. They obviously... Valandians are known for their, their cavalry lancers, so... It's gonna be a lot of lancers in their army messing with me. There goes another vassal, Fernhard. You look important. Yeah, it's definitely a vassal. Missed your your uh, lunge there. Oh, so did I. I know I'm already wounded. Oh, there she go. Oh, that was my twin, Arwa. I believe she was my twin, or what I was laughing about that we looked similar. Have them slowly push up. Why are their sharpshooters ripping me apart and mine aren't ripping Hunters! them apart? We have the same troops. Yet somehow theirs are more effective. Hello, arrows and bolts. Just shot some random pikemen to death. Or to unconsciousness, I should say. Oh, I was really hoping for them to counterattack. Alright, horsemen, you should be in a skine. You're not. That is not a wedge formation. Nah, I guess it's barely. Okay, at this rate, I'm actually not doing well, which is surprising given my superiority of arms. No, not forward. I'm gonna try to use the hill. Move! If I can. Horsemen! Move! Seems like they're moving up. Yep, here's their push. Alright, there's another vassal. Find the prize. Okay, reconvene my cavalry. My infantry's holding. My archers 
have good line of sight now. No, you will not couch lance me. Come into the trees. They have a lot of horsemen. I guess I can be focusing them. Because my own... Oh, you're a banner knight, aren't you? Well, I'm a banner lord. Oh, you want to run into the trees? Fine. Oh, you're dead. Wasn't even my own doing. Yeah, they have a lot of a uh, lot of cavalry in our backfield here, and they are getting knocked out like gangbusters. I'm just worried about my companions, you know. I wonder if they change the um, the companion mortality in this patch. I didn't see anything about it in the patch notes, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Oh, almost got me with that couch, Lance. But not quite. There are so many cavalry. They have so many lancers. This is one big fight. One of the largest I've had in uh, recent times, for sure. Whoa! Okay. Yep. I got couched. Well, now it's a matter of numbers. And I don't think the AI, when I'm knocked out, does a good job. But actually, they're doing fine. They're cleaning up pretty well. I do say so. Looks like pretty much all their forces are routing here. As you can see, they're hiding at the edges. Now, they do have some cavalry. Oh, and now we're sitting in their respawn. Where well, that's never good to trade like that. Alright, what is the net result? My brand new recruit dies on the battlefield. <sighs> All right, Patir, I'm releasing you because I want to recruit you. Arwa, are you? A yeah, no, you're not. Uh, you're my prisoner. Fernhard, you're my prisoner. Varton. Actually, you're free. What What do you own, Varton? Hungard Castle? Ah, uh, you're free to go. I might be able to recruit him. Lyanna. You're my prisoner. Ekrand. You're free to go. Lukend. Uh, Ospir of Ospir and Lukend? Uh, you're my prisoner. Morkin. Prisoner? What, another? Oh, right, two Morkins? Okay. Alright, I'm going to leave the siege. And... I now have an, uh, let's see, I have an obscene amount of troops as a result. So I would say that Yan Shui is due another companion. Um, I think that would be fair. Normally, I would do another raffle, but uh, I don't think it's fair to Yan Shui, one of my... Um, one of my patrons to give them a character for a day? That seems pretty lame. If you ask me. I 
I am so ridiculously over prisoner capacity. I'm just going to try to get to Sargat as fast as I can with as many prisoners as I have, hoping that they don't escape. Uh, even though a lot of them are, um, a lot of them are royal, are vassals. Uh, let's do Annoying Buzz. My archers uh, cause more morale hits. And Raptor Talon also leveled up in one hand. Uh, Swift Strike for Blades. Oh, a Raptor Talon also had, a, uh, so had some points. Let me go through all these people. So you have a focus point. I would say your bows... Your bows are falling behind. Or your... Yeah, your bow is falling behind. What else? You also have a attribute point. Let me put it into control. Vree Dog, you have a focus point. Again, your bow is falling behind. And I do believe that's everybody. Seven troops have deserted for me. That's okay. I'm. I know I'm over capacity. Uh, let me trim my troops down so that I don't have high-level troops desert. Uh, actually, a ton of these aren't even Volandian because they were what I handed over to uh, to my very qu quickly departed um, companion. Not meant to be. In her first fight, she got knocked out. In her second fight, she died. Uh, Holson Folk, I don't want it. Tynops, you can have it. So that there, Holson Folk, is uh, this town over here that we must have captured. Uh, Luchin must have captured. Actually, Luchin was the one that led the army. I should have given it to him. All right, so now we're in Sargat. I am going to do a whole lot of ransoming here. Um, all right, a ton of prisoners did escape, as you can see. Actually, all of them pretty much escaped. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. So I'm just going to keep some of the highest tiered ones. I know that makes it so that I don't recruit very fast, but that's fine by me. Now, I will also... Hmm... I'm also going to donate all of these Volandians. No, oh, maybe I won't. Yeah, I, I suppose I won't. Well, guys, this is my stopping point. Um... We learned, I guess, a few important things. One, that companion death is really no different in this patch. And two, that uh, Yan Shui is gonna, gonna make a comeback, I think. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.